Now you can work out the size of cells when you are looking at them under a microscope. Now how do we calculate magnification? There's a certain formula that we use. The total magnification of whatever you see under the microscope. You have your eyepiece and on your eyepiece you will either have like this one, it has 10 times magnification or you can have a 5 times magnification. You have three objective lenses and the one has four times, a little, little bit bigger one is 10 times up to a 40 times magnification. And all you do is the total magnification of whatever you see under the microscope, you take your eyepiece and you multiply the 10 times whatever have, we have here, the 10 times, so 10 times 4, that means whatever you see under the microscope has been magnified by 40 times. And then you can go 10 times 10, that means 100 times, up to 400 times. And that is how you calculate the, the size of what you see and the magnification of what you see in a microscope. If you don't have the slides under the microscope, you can determine the size of the cells on a micrograph. Now on a micrograph, a scale bar will be given to you. In this instance, it is a line and that shows the distance of from there one point to another and it says it is 0 0.133 millimeters and if we should measure that line of the scale bar we have 40 millimeters which means that every 40 millimeters will be 0 0.133 millimeters now the actual size of a cell, any cell on this micrograph can be determined. And the formula that we use here, we say the measurement of a cell, and I'll select a cell here, and I have here, this one is exactly 60 millimeters. We then multiply it with a scale on the bar, which is 0 0.133 millimeters and we divide it by the length that we have measured here, which is 40 millimeters. So it's the measurement of the cell from one side to another, the length of this drawing. You go to the scale bar and you see it is given to you 0 0.133 millimeters and you divide it by the measurement that you have here, which is 40 millimeters. What is important is that all measurements must be in the same unit. Now sometimes you will find that the micrographs, and because cells are very small um, units, they are mostly measured in micrometers. And when you have millimeters and some of it is in micrometers, you have to convert it. Now the question is, how do we convert? So you use your formula once again, it's the measurement of the length of this join and it is 60 millimeters you multiply it with a scale given on your scale bar which is 0 0.133 millimeters and you divide it by the length of this scale bar which is 40 millimeters and you can have a non-scientific calculator and calculate it and eventually you will come to 1.995. Now when you do get this you have to round it off and eventually you will get 0 0.20 millimeters. And what do we have that this cell that we have measured here, the actual size that you see under the microscope is in fact 0 0.20 millimeters. Now what will happen if your scale bar is given in micrometers? Because cells are very tiny objects and these units are so small that we normally measure them in micrometers. So how do we convert a scale bar? You can convert from millimeters like was given in this diagram when this one in millimeters 
So you have to convert it to micrometers, so you multiply it by a thousand. And when you write it down, since this is 0 0.133 millimeters, and later on, if we can just focus, you see you move it back three places to the left, and it becomes 133 micrometers. And when 133 micrometers are given, and you have to convert it to millimeters, you have to divide it again through a thousand, because it's a thousand millimeters in one micrometer, and we then just move it back three places to the right, and it becomes 0 0.133 millimeters.